For millions of years, Earth used to be a very violent planet. A planet that was once likely a lava world, now, after 4.5 billion years, it has become a temperate planet, with 75% of its surface covered by water and hospitable life. The earliest undisputed evidence of life on Earth dates at least 3.5 billion years ago. To date, a total of 1.3 million species have been identified, but many more live on Earth. In fact, the latest studies suggest that there might be 8.7 million species living on Earth. We modern humans are part of this history only for the last 200,000 years. That is a very short time compared to the first life forms on Earth. If the Earth formed at midnight, and the present moment is the next midnight, 24 hours later, modern humans appear only in the last second. But what makes Earth so suitable for life? What are the key factors that made life possible on Earth? In this video, I'll present the most important ones that are conducive for supporting life. Not every star makes a good candidate for making life possible on its planets. Our Sun has just the right size. Stars more massive than the Sun radiate more energy and have a shorter time span, making life impossible to form on their planets. Less massive, younger stars are often unstable and prone to blasting their planets with bursts of radiation. The Sun releases a tremendous amount of energy and only one one billionth of the Sun's total energy output actually reaches the Earth. Of all the energy that reaches Earth, slightly less than 34% is reflected back to space by its atmosphere. And of the remaining 66%, 19% is absorbed by water vapour, by clouds and by the ozone layer, and only 47% on average is absorbed by the Earth's surface, and less than 1% of the total energy is used by plants for photosynthesis. All life forms need water. Without it, life on Earth would not be possible. Its origin on Earth is the subject of a significant body of research in many scientific fields. Earth is unique amongst the rocky planets in the solar system in that it is the only planet with oceans of liquid water on its surface. Liquid water continues to exist on the surface of Earth because the planet is distant enough from the sun that it does not lose its water to the runaway greenhouse effect but not so far that low temperatures cause all the water on the planet to freeze. It may sound very strange, but it is likely that life on Earth would not have formed or evolved if our moon did not exist. The moon is far and massive enough to stabilize our planet's rotation. Without it, the tilt of the Earth would shift greatly over time, causing massive changes in climate that some scientists think would lower the odds for complex life forms to form or evolve. Scientists also believe that the ocean's tides that are created by the gravitational pull of the moon have played an important role in the support of life creation in the early stages of the Earth. The outer part of the Earth's core is molten and that causes the Earth's magnetic field that extends from the Earth's interior out into space. The Earth's magnetic field serves to deflect most of the solar wind, whose charged particles would otherwise strip away the ozone layer that protects the Earth from harmful ultraviolet radiation. One day, the core will completely cool down, and that will have a huge impact on the whole planet. When that happens, Earth might be like Mars, with a very thin atmosphere and no volcanoes or earthquakes. In those conditions, it would be very difficult for life to survive, but that will not be a problem for several billions of years. The ozone layer, or ozone shield, is a region of Earth's stratosphere that absorbs most of the sun's ultraviolet radiation. It contains a high concentration of ozone, O3, in relation to other parts of the atmosphere, although still small in relation to other gases in the stratosphere. With a weakening of this shield, we would be more susceptible to skin cancer and impaired immune systems. In such a scenario, life on Earth probably would not exist. 